Now, let's understand a little bit more about the component properties. All the components inside Power Apps have properties. Here, for example, if I click on this button, I will see the property panes here in the right, where I have several properties for this button. The first one, for example, is the text. That means the text that will show inside the button. So I can change here, for example, from button to click me. Once I type and press enter, it will show inside the button this new text. And we have several properties for each item we insert and they may change based on the item. So here, if we scroll down, we can see all of them. There's, the main ones are going to be here in the first tab, in the properties, and there are others that are going to be here in the advanced, and they are going to show here, and I can see all of them. Sometimes they don't even show here, and they are here in the top in the properties drop down. So this, in this part, we are going to see all the properties for the selected item. For example, I can select the text here for the button, and I'm going to see here the text in the formula bar. Changing the text here, so click me, please, we will also change the text inside the button. It's the same as clicking here in properties and changing the text here. This video is sponsored by the support of my subscribers who like and comment on the videos. This class is part of a full course I have on Udemy where I teach beginners how to build their first apps. So if you want to ensure lifetime access and see the entire course, I suggest you to join me on Udemy. If the course isn't for you, that's okay, but I kindly ask you to show your support by liking this video and subscribe to this channel. Your engagement means a lot to me and motivates me to continue creating valuable content like this. We can here, for example, also change the borders. We have here the the radius bottom left, radius bottom right, the radius top and left and right, and we can change one by one here in the properties, or we can also come here in the border radius and change the number here, for example. If I put zero, it will change all the four radius, or I can go and change one by one. So there are several ways to do the same thing through here, in the drop down, through the pane or even sometimes clicking in the item, in the components, dragging, resizing, and so on. So each component has its own way to do things. Okay, here for example, I just changed the radius to zero and I have a full square button, but I can also do a rounded button if I change the radius to 180, for example, 180. And if I make the button square, changing the size and the height to be the same, let's say 200 of the width and 200 for the height. And I have a rounded button. I can change text colors, for example here there is the text color. I can change the background color, for example from blue to black and so on. So several properties and this is what I want to know. Each item has their own property. Right now, I just click it in the screen item here in the left pane in the tree view, and I see that the that the properties are different because it's another element, it's another item from the app. So we can change here, for example, the fill, making it a, a light gray color, and the background will change to light gray. Here, I can also see in the drop down that I have the properties for the screen. It's there are way less properties than the button and I can see all of them here and also change from here. Okay, so we have the properties pane, the properties drop down and the formula bar. Here in the formula bar we are also going to put formulas to make the app act differently based on what we do and how or how we interact with the app and we are going to learn while doing our app. I'll see you in the next class where we are going to see the app authoring menu, That's it. that is this menu here in the left, where we have several options, several things to do inside our app. I'm waiting you in there, see you soon.